Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a mini Wonder Woman plush statue. But, you don't have to just stop at making Wonder Woman. I have made quite a few other Justice League members. If you want to check out any one of those tutorials, please check out the card system and the description below. You'll be able to find them very, very easily. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this cute little Wonder Woman statue. So, if you want to make her, here's what you'll need. Make sure that you have every single one of these materials that I have in my inventory right now. Once you have them, we can start. So, we're going to start off with a row of six blue concrete on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. On top of this, we'll stack an additional row of blue. On top of this, going from left to right, we want to place two red concrete, one, two, two yellow, and then two red. For the next row, we want to place two yellow, one red, one brown, two yellow. For the next row, we want to place a black terracotta, a red concrete, then a brown concrete, and then two red, and then one black terracotta. For the next row, place two black terracotta, two white terracotta, and then two more black. On top of this, stack an entire row of white terracotta. In front of this, going from left to right, place two white terracotta, two pink concrete, two white terracotta. On top of this, place a row of white terracotta. Going from left to right, place a white concrete, light blue concrete, two white terracotta, a light blue, and a white. For the next row, place a white terracotta, a yellow, two red, a yellow, and then a white terracotta. For the next row, place two black terracotta, two yellow concrete, two black terracotta. And then finish off the row by placing an entire row of black terracotta. We then want to take that row of terracotta, which is starting to sound like a weird word to me because I've said it so often, we want to take this row and extend it backwards by five rows. One, two, three, four, and five, like that. We then want to take the fifth row and we want to extend it downwards until we eventually reach the point where we would be able to connect to the bottom of the head, like this. We're then going to take that row and we are going to do exactly that. We will connect it to the front of the head, like this. We then want to take our white terracotta and on the left hand side of the head closest towards the face we want to place a white terracotta in the corner and then one to the left of it and above it. We want the same formation of terracotta on the opposite side so we'll place one in the corner to the right and above. We're then just going to completely fill this particular side in using black terracotta and we'll do the same on the opposite side too. So just like this, we're going to fill it in using black terracotta. The majority of Wonder Woman's head is indeed hair, hence why we have that. If you wanted to, nah, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll abandon that. Or what you could do actually is you could, so can you see like where the uh, yellow concrete is, like where her uh, tiara is? Well, if you want to like dig into that line around her hair, you could add a slight bit of additional detail by adding a band of yellow concrete going all the way around. That would simulate kind of like her wearing the tiara that goes all the way around her head, but you might not like that look, it's completely up to you. Anyway, come all the way down to the base of the statue and you want to be around the back. Take the bottom row and extend it backwards by three rows using blue concrete. One, two, and that will be three. We then want to take this back row and extend it upwards by one row using blue. Then for the next row going from left to right place two red, two yellow, two red. For the next row we want a similar row except we want a similar row to the front in which we want to place two red then one brown one red and then two yellow for the next row we want to place two red then we want to play it's three red actually i do apologize we want to place three red one brown two red and then for the final row we want to place four red one two three four one brown 
one red. So you want to have this sort of row. If you like, you can then take out your black terracotta and you can add like strands of hair coming down just so that, you know, it's a bit more lifelike. On the left hand side of your statue, you basically want to colour match. So starting from the bottom, we want to place a row of blue, a row of red, a row of yellow, and then make the rest of the rows red to match with the back. And if we come to the opposite side, we want to do the same. So we'll place blue, red, yellow, two red. Just like that. And there you'll have a pretty nice looking statue. Except Wonder Woman does have arms and legs, believe it or not. I don't know if she'd be a great fighter if she didn't have them. Uh, take out your white terracotta and place a white terracotta in front of the bottom front left hand corner of Wonder Woman. Place a white terracotta on top, to the right of, and down below to form a square. Place red concrete in front of this. And do the same on the opposite side, so place a white terracotta left up right to create a square, and then red in front of this. Those are her legs. I think she could get pretty far with just using legs to be honest, I mean kicks are quite effective. And then we want to take out our white terracotta. And we want to take the top front left hand corner of her body and we want to place two white terracotta coming outwards and then a row underneath place yellow concrete in front of this and then white terracotta in front of that and then come to the opposite side and place the same so two white uh, terracotta underneath whoop like that and then yellow concrete and then white terracotta. So you want to have something which should look like this. And I think that I didn't even include her bracelets. Nope, on the original version I didn't even include her bracelets. So I think that this version is actually quite a lot better than the original version that I've just made. It only occurred to me whilst we were actually making the statue. But that is Wonder Woman, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out. If you want to make any one of the other Justice League members, which are currently ignoring us, they have their backs to us, then please do check out the card system in the description below. There will be links for every single one of them. And on top of that, if you want to check out more content kind of relating to this, I have recently made a Justice League house. I've made the Teen Titans Go Tower. I've made the actual Teen Teen Titans Tower, and I've got plenty of other builds relating to the Justice League and Teen Titans and some DC stuff that you guys might want to check out. I'm not saying you will, you just might. But thank you so much for watching guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.